former president and the Mkonto Yosuze party leader Jacob Zuma has issued an ultimatum to the ANC to schedule a physical disciplinary hearing instead of the virtual one. Zuma, who remains an ANC member, is set to face disciplinary hearing today. However, while the hearing is planned to be virtual, the MK party insists on an in-person appearance. Should this not be arranged, Zuma will seek an urgent court interdict to halt the proceedings. MK party spokesperson Hamulon Lela confirmed that the party has formally requested the ANC Disciplinary Committee to ensure Zuma appear in person. Lela was quoted as saying, ANC Disciplinary Committee has not yet responded to a request made by President Zuma's lawyer that the hearing should take place at a physical venue and in person as previously agreed between the parties in relevant provision of the ANC Constitution, end of quote. He further explained that the same disciplinary committee representative had earlier confirmed that Zuma would attend the hearing at the Tuli House in person. However, they suddenly decided to postpone the in-person hearing, citing security concerns, which Ndrela described as fixtures. He criticized the decision, particularly given the pre-election climate, and accused the ANC's leadership under Ramaphosa of manipulating the situation. In accordance with the Rule 25 of the ANC Constitution, Zuma is entitled to be represented by a fellow ANC member if he chooses to do so. In this case, Zuma will be represented by Tony Engeni, a long-standing struggle veteran, former ANC NEC member, and the commander of Umkonto Isizwe. Ndlela was quoted saying, President Zuma believes that Commander Tony Engeni is well placed as a seasoned commander of Umkonto Isizwe party to represent him in the Kangaroo Court convened against him by the sellout ANC of Ramaphosa, Sen Hussein, and the Green World. End of quote. Zuma faces two counts of contravening the ANC's rule. The charges include breaching the party's constitution by publicly endorsing the newly formed MK party last year and appearing on its candidate list. According to the ANC Constitution Rule 25, Zuma's actions of not campaigning or voting for the ANC are considered a breach of party's constitution. Initially, the NEC chose not to expel Zuma from the ANC, as doing so would require a longer disciplinary process which were believed to be problematic due to his anticipated non-attendance. In December, Zuma announced his support for the MK party in 2024 general elections, arguing that the ANC has deviated from its core values. This move has heightened the tension between the party and intensified the urgency of the disciplinary proceedings.